guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? When is it going to end? When do you like when are they going to learn that they can't do that? And I see a never. lot of people <laughs> It'll never I see happen. a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> getting on Missoula about it. Like they're no, saying Missoula can't fault. drop a play. He inherited he, that like, problem. Yeah, exactly. They're like, they can't drop a play. I saw somebody uh tweet out the video of Tatum dribble, dribble, dribble past Orford, and they're like, look at Missoula, he can't even drop a play. What he- hello? I mean, like, I guess like sure. If if that's the one piece you would like to pick on, sure. What would should Missoula have drawn up a play? Maybe. Sure. But at the same time, you have Jason Tatum. I guess you live with the isolation. Uh, but overall, like, it's not like this problem, like, let's not, not act like this is a new thing. Like they were doing this ever since the 2019, 2020 bubble year. They did oh, all of 2020, 21. Of it, it, it was the entire season screwing around. I, I vividly remember one game because funnily enough, it was the game, uh, after which I met my girlfriend currently, it was a Pelicans game and they were up by like 21 in, in, in the fourth quarter. And then they just blew it to like Josh Hart and the fellas or something like that. I don't know if you remember the game. It was like two years ago. At was this, it during COVID when it they was were in New Orleans Day. and they lost in overtime? Tatum sent it to overtime with a floater. Maybe, but I don't think so. It, it was Valentine's day, 2020. Mm. I, I remember vividly. Okay. And I remember t- tweeting out because it was like the tweet that I, I met my girlfriend with, uh, ironically enough. But like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, like, this isn't a new thing. This has been happening for three generations of Celtics coaches now. Like, let's let's stop blaming Missoula. That, like you always say, that's the laziest thing. I, I just, I don't like it. It is lazy because he's really only got so much control over what the team does. And the time to blame the coach is not the regular season. It's the playoffs. And unless like you have an absolute dumpster fire to where they're under underperforming. Yeah. They shouldn't be this bad, blah, 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 blah. And like, he needs to do something, I guess, but they are 29 and 12. They're the best team in the NBA and they are far from perfect. Don't get me wrong. We just spent, you know, 20 minutes complaining about them, not closing games properly, which is an issue. And you can point to coaching with that. If you want, the game plan needs to change. Maybe he needs to really get on them to just keep playing, keep the foot on the gas, I yeah, guess. Sure. But they're not losing games because of Missoula. When they lost to OKC, that wasn't his fault. When they lost to Denver, that wasn't his fault. It was the players' fault. They're missing shots. They weren't playing hard. That That's their fault. Mm-hmm. The not playing hard is inexcusable. Some days you're not going to make shots. And I say this all the time, control what you can control. That's what you got to do. And mm-hmm. they've been doing that for the most part lately. I thought they played pretty hard against Chicago. I thought they had multiple possessions that ruled where they had three or four chances offensively and they kept it alive. Grant, Rob Williams, hustling, diving on the floor. Great play. Brogdon had a tip in to cap one of them off. It was really great work from the guys on offense. I'm happy to see them playing hard and there has been a switch that's flipped in that category at least. I agree. Uh, I do want to stick on the coaching thing for a sec, though, because I, I I really think it's bogus, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make this like its own little video thing on YouTube. Cool. But like, it it just it's never made any sense. Because like last year, it was fire Udoka, right? He is the problem. Like it's so clearly the problem throughout the first half of the year. Then it turned around, and then the whole situation happened, and now it's bring back Udoka. Missoula stinks, right? Like he's terrible. He's he's awful. Uh, meanwhile, like writers around the league in the in the uh, NBA survey are voting him like third and co- fourth in coach of the year, right? Like, right. You know, but he's terrible, right? But he's he's terrible. Um, I just don't get it. Like, people are so so um, hesitant is not the right word, unwilling to put blame on the players, right? Like, they they absolutely r- refuse to blame the players. But if you know, let's use some logic here, Sam. Well, they only blame certain <laughs> Over players. The best- <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You you look at the past, however, what is it, four years now, this season and the last three seasons, Celtics have had Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, uh, Robert Williams, Grant Williams, Al Horford for three, two of them, two of them, um, the effectively the same core, the same core pieces yep. for the majority of the time they've had. And they've had in four years three different head coaches if you want to count damon stoudemire four but they've had three different head coaches but for the same problems that have been happening it's always the coach's fault like that 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 logic just just 
doesn't track, right? Like there's only so much a coach can do. Can can Missoula be better at drawing up ATOs and drawing up better plays down the stretch of game? Sure. Can his rotations be a little bit cleaner? Sure. Right. Like, are there small things? Are there things he can do to improve as a coach? Absolutely. He's 34, 36, right? No, he's 34 because he's younger than Horford. It's his yeah. first year ever being coach in the league. He was thrust into this role because the former head coach was gross, right? Like, and he had to go. And he is catching he all of the heat. Of heart, but he yeah. <laughs> he's catching all the heat, even though it's the players who have been here through three head coaches. It's the problem. And going back to Brad Stevens, I don't even think Brad Stevens was the problem. Let's be real here. Like, I, I know you can argue, oh, Duka, and I do think there was value in what U- Udoka did for the team, you know, getting on them, calling on them out. In the oh, media. I loved it. I think that, I yeah, I think that. it made I them tougher. Hilarious. I think it made them tougher, but let's not act like it's the same players making the same problems and let's blame the one non-consistent factor in the equation. That, like, it's just not logical at all. I, I think you've seen the players as a whole mature. And, and that's going to happen. It doesn't necessarily have to do with who's coaching, just like the failure doesn't have to do with who's coaching when it happens. But I will say they definitely learned a lot from Yudoka, and you're seeing them continue to be poised for the most part this season. Lately, you have seen those lapses at the end of the games, which is frustrating for us as fans because after a certain point, you expect your team to win. And granted, in all the games we're complaining about, they did, but it shouldn't come to that. That Chicago team isn't good. The Spurs team certainly isn't good. They shouldn't be able to come back on you in a fourth quarter like that. What are you going to do when you're playing Milwaukee in the playoffs? Or if you're playing Brooklyn mm-hmm. and they have Katie and Kyrie closing a game against you in the playoffs? Literally, you sit any there playoff and, team and dribble? will take advantage of that. Exactly. Any playoff team like Milwaukee, Brooklyn, <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, the Cleveland, Spurs took advantage Philly. of it and they're trying to get Wembenyama. Exactly. They're trying to lose and they took advantage of it. Exactly. Exactly. Any any team that ends up making the playoffs, hell, the Pacers will take advantage of it, right? Like any team that's in the playoff hunt is going to take advantage of what the Celtics do. Uh, and they have throughout the season. Like this isn't a new thing with the Spurs and Bulls. Like I said, it's been happening for years. So the, the blame Missoula party is, I think, ridiculous. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. Is he the root of all evil in Boston? Stop it. Like just just that narrative needs to die. <laughs> it should just, be illegal to blame the coach until the playoffs. <laughs> The playoffs, you want to blame the coach? I guess you can. Because they need to make adjustments then. I understand. Yeah. But for now, blaming Missoula is just, it's easy. Check, check, go.